Our top story, after a recent council vote, residents citywide will see about a $5 increase to their electric bills starting next month. Naperville News 17's Whitney Goodbread has more on what that means for you. City Council narrowly voted to raise electric rates 6% this May and 7% next May to help combat a $14 million deficit in the city-owned electric utility. 6% uh, is, is still a loss, but then the second year, 7% increase puts us into a positive cash position. Uh, it doesn't allow us to regain all the money after year two, but it makes a, a pretty big dent on it. The city buys its power from the Illinois Municipal Electric Agency, or IMEA, of which it's a stockholder. Because of some issues with IMEA's Prairie State Coal Plant, Naperville, IMEA's biggest customer, is expected to foot about a $50 million bill. So what does this mean for you? The average residential user who pays about $92.79 a month will now pay $97.69 starting next month and $103.75 next spring. But even with the rate increase, officials noted that Naperville's residential rates will still be lower than ComEd. I don't want to be the best at the lowest rate increase because I, I would prefer we had our rates in the other direction. But this is the industry, this is the world in which we live in when it comes to electricity at the electrical residential market. These new increases are projected to decrease the utilities deficit to $5.2 million by April of 2016. Also at that meeting in a separate vote, the council okayed a loan of up to $19 million from either the water utility or the vehicle replacement fund to the electric utility in the meantime, which will be paid back at 2.7% interest. But the issue isn't over. The council agreed that the city needs to re-examine their relationship with IMEA. I'm contending that we don't have to consider that an ironclad obligation. Yes, we should pay what we have agreed to pay. But I don't think we've agreed to pay according to what IMEA is doing right now. Public Utilities Advisory Board Chairman John Crummins spoke to the council as well, saying that that board wants to look further into IMEA and Prairie State. Why are they, again, a billion dollars over, 10 months late, and I'm running at 60 percent? The council extended an invitation for someone from the PUAB to attend their meetings with IMEA to better stay informed in the future. Reporting from City Hall, Whitney Goodbread, Naperville News 17. The council also approved $17.34 million in general obligation bonds to help fund the city's $54 million capital improvement program for next year. This means a homeowner with a $375,000 home will pay about $14 towards the new tax levy this year. The city also announced the departure of their top attorney, Margo Ely. Ely has spent the past 20 years with the city, most recently as the Director of Human Resources, Legal and Risk Management. She's leaving to become the new Executive Director of the Intergovernmental Risk Management Agency. No information has been released about the process of finding Ely's successor.